paranormal activity, the ghost dimension. A family has just moved into a a recently available house in Palo Alto, California. And when the when they find some mysterious tapes of what yeah, the the two children, Katie and Christy, apparently being trained in some sort of supernatural ability or the like, and strange things start happening, they fire up the, also found in the house, spirit photography VHS camera, which makes, you know, which allows them to see things that are not of this world. And yeah, that's where the 3D comes in, and it's the really, you know, it's the kind of 3D that really draws attention to itself. It's not trying to just, like, subtly build an ad. No, no, no. It's reaching out and touching you, because the thing that this camera does is basically open the door to this other dimension. So whoever's looking through the viewfinder can see this other dimension. And we, seeing the footage through the, the camera of this, you know, other dimension, it's practically coming at us and, and reaching out and grabbing us. And it is awesome. You might worry that, you know, us actually seeing some of the activity now, you know, takes away from, you know, the, the core of it is we're... We can tell that there's something, but we can't quite see it with the naked eye. We still can't see so much that it's that that it lets us calm down and put a, a name and a face and shape to things. It's still nice and and subtly done, and there's a lot of the time where like maybe whatever's you know, from the other dimension, just walks out of shot of the spirit photography camera. And they've set up several cameras, but then suddenly you can't see it, and you don't know what it's doing. And you can see, you know, when, when you watch this supposed footage from the spirit photography camera, you can see, even if there's something, like, right in front of a character, they can't see it. And you could sit there in the theater and be like, oh, no, don't get away from there, it's right there. And they can't hear you. This one is the final chapter. It, it wraps up everything. There is a very effective ending. And it follows up on every hint that has been dropped over the course of these films. Everything... <laughs> seemingly has built towards this one thing that will be addressed in this and yeah as as someone who's watched all of them and who remembers a lot of details and really tried to figure out what was going on yeah i feel completely satisfied with it it yeah ev everything was used in this final one which i really wasn't sure they were going to be able to do but very impressively and it's probably best to have watched the others before you watch this one if you watch this one definitely watch in 3d because it is just yeah you do need to see the 3d for it although you know for those who worry about you know how much of the film is in 3d not all that much overall you know but what there is is very much worth it and the yeah, the the if if you do watch this and haven't watched the others, you can more or less follow it. It does have just enough information for you to be able to follow everything, but yeah. And and I actually do hope some people will, because I think they will have you know a really awesome ride. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.